So Season of the Seraph has been out for a few days now and I figured I'd give my first impressions and I'm gonna be totally honest, they're not good so far. I felt this same way with Season of the Plunder at the very beginning of that season and I made it clear in my first impressions video for Plunder that it's just another run of the mill Destiny season, which turned out to be completely true and also even worse than most seasons. And Season of the Seraph is no different here. Destiny 2 just needs to change its content model, desperately. I've been championing that idea since Shadowkeep when seasons first started becoming extremely formulaic. I played very little during Shadowkeep's year, and with Beyond Light I just took the year off completely because I just couldn't do the drip feed seasonal content model any longer. So for me, I've been annoyed with how Destiny 2 has done their seasons for a long time now, and spoke to how in the long run it would be to the game's detriment. And I think so far the Witch Queen seasons have proved that theory to be true. Maybe it took others a little bit longer to get on board with the idea that the core game needs updates and content more than it needs Horde Mode number 685. I'm just glad others are finally starting to see how shallow and monotonous seasonal content actually is. And if you like the seasonal stories, I don't blame you. Those are mostly fine. I rarely have issues with the seasonal stories. Some are of course better than others, but they can be fun enough to experience. But the best way to experience them is of course to wait towards the end of the season when all the content is out and just play through it in one sitting, which is what I did with Plunder. Or you can just watch the stories online on YouTube, which is what I ended up doing for the Beyond Light seasons. And you know what? I feel like I really didn't miss anything from that year. Maybe a couple fun missions, but mostly I missed out on grinding another 5x7 grid in the helm, and I missed out on farming a million arbitrary currencies. I'm glad I missed out on that because I did that for three seasons in Shadowkeep, and I've now done that same grind three seasons in a row this year. And it's never been enjoyable to grind seasons that way for me. Sometimes I've enjoyed grinding a new seasonal title depending on the season, but even then, it's pretty rare because it's all time gated and dragged out, which is just something I'm not into. But I'm getting a little bit off track here, so let's get back to Season of the Seraph. So some of the armor looks pretty good, but I'm pretty hard pressed to be excited about new armor in Destiny because the appearance is kind of all that really matters. Destiny 2 is pretty much just a fashion game at this point. I'm not earning the new gear to get some better role than what I'm wearing because I've already got my min-maxed gear, so the only thing I really care about is the look. And that's cool, but not worth grinding after you've obtained it for its appearance, with transmog in the game now. The weapons also look pretty good and the new origin perk is cool, but the weapons still don't feel necessary or worth using because, I mean, this game is just piss easy that squeezing out an extra 5% of damage almost means nothing unless it's for DPS in a raid or something. And some of the perks can do unique or kind of fun things like Volt Shot for example, but but again the game is just so easy it's not like you need to have Volt Shot to feel competitive in PvE. The Eye of Sauron towers were pretty fucking cool. I've been replaying Bloodborne lately and it reminded me of the Brain of Mensis tower that causes you to take massive frenzy damage when you're in line of sight with it. And these Eye of Sauron towers in D2 would be awesome if they were implemented in a raid or a dungeon as a mechanic that you kind of had to deal with. But of course in the story mission and the bunker battlegrounds, they are mostly a non-factor and non-threatening because this game is again extremely easy. And the story this time, I'm going to be honest, does not interest me at all really. Just kind of like last season. It has some decent ideas, but I feel like it's pretty mid so far. Maybe that'll change, but I don't know. I don't think so. But being totally honest with you guys, I'm not sure what else to say regarding Seraph. I mean, it's a season of destiny. Nothing unique here. It is exactly what you expect from a destiny season. It's the same old predictable cookie cutter release. Which kind of leads me to my main point. Bungie just needs to change how they do Destiny 2's content model. The current model makes the game feel creatively bankrupt and soulless. Destiny 2 is an MVP. No, not that kind of MVP. Minimum viable product. Bungie are masters of this idea. They do the absolute bare minimum just to get you hooked on their product and then make you starve for more. Like a drug dealer giving out a free sample. And Bungie is a drug lord of gaming. They've created and curated a game based around psychologically addicting gameplay mechanics that are drip fed and spread out to waste your time and get you invested just enough to buy the season pass. Maybe stop by the cash shop too and then encourage your friends to join you in the misery because doing drugs with your friends is always better than doing it alone. But all that's really happening is you've spread the epidemic to others, meaning there's now even more of you on that hamster wheel doing the menial checklist tasks and quests until Bungie drops that very occasional nugget of gold to say, see, we make good content. Destiny 2's Season of the Seraph is just the latest example of Bungie's lack of creativity and innovation, 
But this isn't anything completely new, this has been a constant problem for years. The lack of effort to improve the core game and their insistence on reskinning and repeating content from the past has only increased. And I can already hear some of the comments saying, um, the new season's only been out a few days, you can't judge a season until after it's over. And that's where you're wrong, kiddo, because unless you have an IQ lower than your shoe size, then you already know exactly how Season of the Seraph is going to play out. And that's because it started exactly like every single season that has taken place in the last three years. Play an intro mission, followed by a cutscene, go to the helm and be greeted by yet another upgrade grid system that time gates all the upgrades. Also, here's a few quests for you to grind this new arbitrary currency. New activity? <laughs> Barely. It's just a variation of the same gameplay activity you've been doing the last three years, but this time just a little bit different. Is it challenging? God no. We wouldn't want anyone to overcome some level of difficulty. What, would we want our players to actually feel accomplished and earning something? Ha! Not in our game, we're just going to hand you all the new items for participating, and then drip feed the rest of the loot and story over the next three months. I'm not really sure who this game is made for at this point. Hardcore players? Casuals? Really neither of them. Because the content is so brain dead easy to the point where a corpse could play it, but at the same time it requires you to treat the game like a full time job. So I guess it caters to people who suck at video games, but want to waste all of their time and money in it? Kind of like pulling a slot machine. It's not hard at all, but you spend a lot of money pulling that lever, and some people even think they're good at it. There is nothing challenging about Destiny 2, therefore there's nothing to feel accomplished about, with exceptions maybe being raids and dungeons. New weapons and armor look cool, but it's not like you went through a difficult journey to get them. You just turned your brain off and grinded these mind-numbing activities over and over again. And Destiny has always had an element of this, of course, it's a looter shooter after all. However, the game used to be far less grindy, and also far more difficult, especially in Destiny 1. Not that D1 is even a hard game in most cases, because it's not. But it definitely did not allow you to turn your brain off to this degree. I mean, as I'm playing this new seasonal content, my mind just wandered to think about what I wanted for lunch, or how I'm out of paper towels and I need to go buy some, or how I'd rather be playing a game that actually asks something of me mentally, because D2 is just a repetitive, nonsensical grind fest that does not test your mental acuity, which also makes the game an absolute snooze fest. And if I really care enough about the story, then again, I'll just read the cliff notes or watch a video recapping the whole thing at the end of the three month season. Seasonal content exists to be a time sink for the community. And the well then don't play it argument is fine, and don't worry I won't be playing that much this season anyway. But the issue is that because Bungie makes seasonal content like they do, their expansions get less focus, like we saw with the Witch Queen. Witch Queen had a great campaign and a fun raid, but then it was back to do the same business as usual bullshit, because the core game does not get enough updates, changes, or additions. Why? Because they know that as soon as they make the bare minimum, they gotta start developing seasonal content, and also the next expansion, which again, those things will deliver the bare minimum. They're just constantly cranking on content, churning out just enough, then move on to the next thing and make just enough, then move on. They don't allow themselves to make enough long-lasting, high-quality content. Bungie has been pushing out mediocre content drop after mediocre content drop for the last three years, ever since they split from Activision. And let's be honest, nothing will change in Lightfall in that regard either. I'm sure it will be another decent campaign and probably a fun raid, but then it'll be back to the same old thing. And they've already announced another four seasons with Lightfall's Deluxe Edition, so we're likely going to see the same tiresome seasonal content we've seen with the last three years. And I'm tired of seeing comments saying, well, the next expansion will likely improve on that, or this, or that thing. They're doing this that's going to benefit the game. Or, or my absolute favorite. They're taking steps in the right direction. If I had a dollar for every comment I've seen like that comment, I'd be a millionaire. Every single season and expansion, it's the same exact comment. It's slowly improving, it's getting there. Those type of comments have been repeated for the last eight years, over and over again. You'd think people would get the idea that, hey, how many years have I repeated that same talking point? Oh, eight years now? Maybe I should pull my head out of the sand and wake up. Now originally my video wasn't going to be so negative and have the tone that this video ended up having, but while writing my first impression script, I just couldn't help but feel like, what is there to say really? It's just another Destiny season. I could attempt to speak at length about the story mission and the new activity, but why? Most of you know what to expect. It plays the exact same as every single seasonal activity and story that has come before it. There's zero innovation here. Bungie will just keep on dangling that carrot on a stick for the foreseeable future, 
constantly hyping up its player base for the next release, pretending like they're your best friend on social media, just to keep you going on the hamster wheel and spending money. When I heard that line in the first mission, my immediate reaction was, hey, that's Bungie's entire philosophy. They are masters of hype. And again, just like a drug dealer, always try to keep you hooked and convince you to stick around by pretending to be your buddy. They claim to care so much about mental health, but everything about their business model is meant to trick you into wasting your time and money on their addictive and FOMO-heavy game design and predatory monetization practices. There is only one thing I'm looking forward to this entire season, and that's the new dungeon. And because I've unfortunately spent my money on the dungeon key, I may as well play through it at least a couple times to get my money's worth. And I did like duality, so I'm hoping this new one is good as well. And again, the new dungeon is not included in the season price. But my recommendation to you is do not buy Season of the Seraph, especially not right now. Just either skip it entirely, or wait until the last month or so to pick it up once all the content is out if you really just have to play it. And if you do plan on getting Lightfall, do not buy the Deluxe Edition with all the seasons because my guess is this seasonal model will continue into Lightfall. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.